poultry disease prevention and management. The simple fact is, birds will always have a way of being vulnerable to diseases. But then, a routine preventive measure can form the next line of defense against diseases. After providing a clean and hygienic environment through good poultry farming practices, these preventive measures include 1. Vaccination 2. Parasite control 3. Identifying and treating sick birds or separating multi age flocks and five practicing routine biosecurity procedures between flocks and staff working with them. Here is a breakdown explanation of this point. The first one being vaccination. Vaccination can prevent many poultry diseases. All you need to do is follow a suitable vaccination program or only buy appropriately vaccinated stock. You can request the vaccination certificate from your suppliers when purchasing chicks or pullets. Some poultry vaccinations include avian encephalomyelitis, chicken anemia, egg drop syndrome 76 EDS 76, fowl pox, infectious bronchitis, infectious borsal disease, infectious chorizia, Infectious laryngotracheitis, Merrick's disease, Newcastle disease. For readers of poetry when vaccinating, adhere to this hint. The first hint is always follow the instructions on the label, including storage conditions. The second hint is use disposable syringe and needles. The third hint is discard all unused vaccines, syringe and needles in a proper manner. The fourth hint is be clean but never use detergents or disinfectants near vaccination equipment. Do not disinfect skin before vaccinating with foul pox or Marix HVT. Vaccines as this will kill the vaccine virus. Check with your vaccine suppliers or veterinarians for vaccine availability. Although Poultry Hub has been more helpful as it has more information about vaccination types, procedures and handling. The next one is Parasite control. Beds that are housed on the floor and have access to pastures and outdoor areas will have greater exposure to internal and external parasites. For beds housed in this condition, it is important to have a prevention program in place and treat as required. This helps to minimize physical stress and keep beds in good condition as they can resist diseases you can control parasites. You can control parasites by regularly inspecting beds for external parasites. Spraying or dusting bed thoroughly with an approved insecticide if you can see lice or mites. Spray the shade, patches and nest thoroughly, making sure the insecticide gets into crevices. Cleaning shades and rotating ranges to prevent worms. Regularly checking infection materials for any signs of worm. Always checking the label on warming treatment for withholding periods that some are not suitable for production beds. Conducting a veterinarian. The next one is remove sick beds. Regularly observe your beds for any signs of ill health or problems within the flock such as feather pecking. Remove sick chicken and other poultry from the main flock and obtain a diagnosis from a qualified person. Sick beds usually appear different from healthy beds. You should note that. You can give the correct treatment once you identify the disease or problem. Keep ill beds quarantined from the flock until completely recovered. If medication is given, it is important to adhere to any withholding periods. The next one is multi-age flux. When introducing your younger beds into a flock of older beds, there is an increased risk of disease transfer from the older beds to the younger ones. Older beds often build resilient diseases and disorder that younger beds have not been able to because they are not exposed to it. There may also be an increased risk of feather pecking and social issues when introducing new beds to a flock. It is preferable from a disease perspective to run a single age flux. However, if this is not possible and you are running multi age flux, you can stick to this hint. Keep age groups separate. Have an in all and in out system for each age group to allow for a complete clean and disinfection of facilities and equipment between bodies. Remember, always start with the younger poetry and finish with the oldest. 
Congratulations already to your success hint and the quest to prevent your poetry from diseases.